I'm gonna try it with the bullet. Middle. Do I wanna try another? Do I want to try another? Not really. What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at a private golf course about 20 minutes north of Little Rock. Uh, it's called Pine Valley. It's $5 to play, $10 to rent a cart, which of course I jumped on. Starting off hole one here, it's a doozy. Um, and then the greens are OB, and that's it. So let's get to it. Hole one here, over 800 feet downhill. Got a little bit of a ceiling to deal with on the edges of the fairway. I'm just gonna try and chop this puppy in half. Starting off, I'm gonna go with my Apex Longhorn. Overturned. Just a smidge, a little faster. My big Z Zeus. There we go. Should have enough time to fight out of it, really. I think that trickled back in bounds. 320 into the green. Alpha. Please flare skip up the hill. Dang it, I threw that way too straight. Straight through jail. My goodness. Um, if I didn't feel like I was in a hurry, I'd go back to my bag to get a zone for this forehand roller. But I'm just gonna do it with a glitch. Our save of the day already, goodness. Hole two, 359, a low ceiling. There's an interesting window up to the right. Pulls us off of the golf tees onto a disc golf tee. It's just grass, but that's okay. What am I gonna throw? I'm gonna go free tail. I think I can keep this low enough with a little less rip. Yeah. That checks out. Not the worst lie in the world. Just gonna chip up, hopefully get an easy par. Not gonna bother trying too hard to make this, risking a bogey. That'll do. Nice little pine cone crunch. Hole three, up in the corner of the property. Par for 717 feet. You do have the traditional golf green to deal with. And it's uh, into a headwind. Let's see how this wave is flying today. Because I need this shape. So this should be good unless it just overturns. Oh, it'd be nice if it got some height. Just for funsies, I am gonna use this opportunity to test out this Halo Rollo that I just picked up. Oh, you're going home with me. Still got about 300 feet on my approach here. Freaking Rolo went further than my wave. That's frustrating. Put the camera in a bad spot. I'm just gonna throw my Bobcat. 
try and scoot off of the green forward towards the bucket. Oh, deep of the green. Yeah, this bobcat clawed its way back up into the green. Nice. My mini in the bag. Gotta grab it after this. Dang it. Because I didn't use my mini. Didn't show you all my mini. Not that many. Mini marker mini. Hole four, 374 downhill near the water. So I'm gonna be playing this one for three. I'll throw that alpha again, because this should just push down the hill, not out to the water. Because I can't tell if I have an area safe to the right at all. Yeah, can't tell. Dang, that was nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Tricky, tricky. You do not want to get something turning here. That is for sure. Hmm. All right, we're gonna get a little spicy here. A little spicy. Oh, no turn. Also, no turn. Dang it. Good bit. Hole five, 407. And that tree is 317, according to my laser. So, we're freaking going for it. I'm gonna throw this blizzard boss. I can't really remember how this one flies or the weight. It's hard to read. So I'm gonna play it to the short side and hopefully get a skip. Got a little bit of a tailwind. Oh, it turns. Ah, that's a great disc. Plenty of distance, geez. Just through the wrong line. All right, let's laser back at the edge of the pond over there. 403 to the edge of the pond. Right about 420 to the whites. <laughs> 420 just in the wrong direction. And now we're looking towards the bucket. Really, I'm just laying this up because I don't want to get a four. And I want to keep this tree as out of the equation as possible. So, let's chip a zone up there, get under that. Short, but in play. Okay. So, closer than I thought it was. Finally gonna show you my mini that I'm using this round. Trash Panda Mini, one of the OG, I think these are first run or second runs. These were ones that were made in Jesse's garage or in their facility, they're new ones. I have one of those too, you'll see that in an upcoming video. Yeah, shout out Trash Panda Mini, fully recycled. Let's see if we can make this putt. Buried. Very high on the chains, but still caught it. All right, on to the next one. Crash Panda! Hole six, I'm not even sure where the basket is on this one. It's, oh, there it is. There it is. Sorry, I got distracted. Par four, 
605 feet. Low ceiling, probably about 200 feet off of the tee, so you just need to get past that to the landing zone. And then jam a second one. Let's see what I can do. Try this big Z Zeus. Let's try and sneak around that ceiling and shorten my upshot. Oh, way too high. Such a cool shot, though. I'm gonna try the wave just for funsies. Two inside. Yeah, that's the, that's the branch to beat. So here's a look at what I'm behind. Uh, this takes a lot of different shots out of the equation, unfortunately, than if I was just right here. I'm gonna try lobster. Tempted to go roller. I did not need to go that understable. Well, I almost got pinned high in two. Just this thing stayed on Annie all the way near the green. It was very close to being OB. Never give it a chance. Hole seven, 444 feet. Kind of downhill. Headwind, 444 feet. I'm gonna go wave. I'm tempted to try a free tail roller, but I don't know about that. The ceiling's kind of high and kind of late on the fairway, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm just gonna aim towards the golf green, let the disc work. Oh, so low, Josh. I think that'll be just fine. Ah, dang. Hole eight, another par four, only 497 feet. It is down there to the left of that golf green. So you wanna think the landing zone, down to the golf green and get to the left. And then you should have a look at an approach to this alpha. This should be great layup, get me in position. One stick off of my teeing surface here. Okay. Oh boy. It turned. It's very safe. So there is the ball golf green. There's my disc. I would have loved to get a little bit to the left, like I was thinking, because the basket is, I guess, right behind those trees. Shapes nicely for a turnover into the green, which I like. And the pond is up there, so safe for the pond. Just gotta get in there and give it a lob. I do have a headwind, so this could overturn pretty easily. Yeah, it's turning, turning really bad. Give me a putt out of the rough, but a putt nonetheless. I seem to have found the only low ceiling part on this entire green, unfortunately. But I think we can make this work still. I could try and air bounce something low, or I could try the high turnover. I'm leaning towards that, I'm more comfortable with that. Although it'll be in the wind. There's a chicken over there. Uh, I'm going to try low, keeping it out of the wind. Robot chicken. Dude is having the time of his life getting some bugs. There's lots of them out here.
My bad. What? Robbed. Hole nine, 293 feet. It seems like it's where the, the like first sunny spot, second, third, that one back there. Seems like it's back in there. I'm just gonna try and throw a bullet up there and then get a look at it. Straight below. Just see the chains and the yellow or the orange uh, pole through the trees. It is exactly where I thought it was. I just didn't execute the shot. So, I could try and float a glitch there. I think it might be a little too far for a floaty glitch shot that's shaped like that. I'm gonna try and hyzer a zone in there. I don't love it, but. Could try lefty. Haven't done that in a while though. All right, here goes the forehand zone. Way too wide, way too high, way too deep. Sailed it. Okay, we made it through the front nine. Got hole 10 behind me here. I'm plus three through the first nine. Not too bad, I've had some bad fumbles on par fours where it should have been an easy birdie and then I just had one of a couple of mess ups on the short par threes. Uh, so let's get on to the back nine, see how it goes. Hole 10, par five. Don't see the basket yet, but it is way down there. 856 feet, basically throw as far as you can twice, then make an upshot. And I'll go with my lightweight pop top Zeus. Try and get some distance, stay in the middle so I don't have to manufacture anything weird on my second. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Here's my drive, nicely in the middle of the fairway. Unfortunately, there's a mando tree. No signs on the tee pad though. It was freaking hard to see. I didn't notice it until I was driving up to my disc. So if you've seen this video, play the mando tree, but I'm kind of in a prime position not to. So and the basket is somewhere behind that tree, short of those bushes. So. I'm gonna give myself some love and not play the Mando. I haven't busted this out yet on this trip. We're gonna go time-lapse. Let's try and reach the tree line almost and start boogieing to the left under the tree canopies. It's gonna be short, I think. Yeah, maybe putting though. All right, I got about a 40, 45 footer for Eagle. If you ignore the missed Mando. Oh, nice, a root right under there, sweet. Oh, oh it's gonna be a tester for Birdie. That was terrible. All right, hole 11, just over 400 feet. Around this corner, the lined, parked the cart up over here. You can see the basket from over there, so. I like you're throwing totally blind. I'm just gonna chip up with the grackle. Try and play this one for par. a little more aggressive than I meant to go, but I think it's better. Pretty much exactly what I drew up. Throw up with the zone. I'm pretty sure there's water about 10 feet behind the bucket, so you don't want to find that. Excellent. 
Full 12, bar three, 204 feet over the water. Got some guardian trees there. So the forehand probably isn't ideal, nor is the turnover. So I'm gonna throw this quake and just play crash from the right down into the left. So the water comes up pretty close on the short side of this green. A lot of room. High side though to throw that line that I threw. I didn't need to go as high, I could have cut it in. Hole 13, 342 Maple Hill style playing down the road. Very interesting. Uh, looks like there is a mando tree. Does it say mando? Sure does. That's good. That's about the easiest line is that big high turnover. Probably protect some other holes. I'm gonna throw... That's alpha. This thing has been a workhorse today. Made the mando. Skipping way outside the circle. Not a great spot up against the base of this fairly magnificent tree. The basket is right there under the roof of the cart. Hole 14, just shy 800 feet. I can't tell if it's down that tunnel or down that tunnel. Don't see any Mando signs. All right, here we go. Get off those trees, get off them, get off them. Yes. Smash. And I'm on the left side of the fairway. I think that's where I wanna be. So from here, I've got about 320 into the green. Very hard to see, it's it's in there, I think. Oh, that might be the edge of it. I don't know. It's in there, about 320 feet. I think I'm gonna throw the grackle. Now dive, now dive. Kick. Dang it. Hell track. Hell track. Hell track. Welcome to Hell track. Hole 15. It's just down there. It's right there. See, super straight. There's one tree in the middle of the fairway. That's it. Just the one. It's only 300 feet. Putter is probably smart, but I don't think I can reach it. I think I need to throw the hex. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go with the hex. Hopefully this isn't the last time I see this thing. Also, we have a concrete tee pad. Made the first few gaps. Threw it a little too soft. Just for fun, because we're here. We're gonna try it with the bullet. middle. Do I want to try another? Do I want to try another? Not really. Okay, so I'm fairly stoked about this. Not about my chances to get a birdie, but the fact that I'm putting, kind of. Okay. My noble steed waiting for me. Now for the putt. There's a den of some sort. Just put my foot right next to it. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna try and putt through that. Okay, straddle putt. Woo-wee! 
three on the health rack? What? Hole 16, just over 400 feet. That is a pond on the right short, so probably stable up and stay left. Be smart about this. I'm gonna throw this 168 gram octane on Heiser. This thing better not turn too much. Or if it does, I better just sail. Sail on towards that bucket. Beautiful layup. Hole 16. This day is coming to a close. Yeah. Hole 17, 310. On the hill, over the pond. I'm gonna throw this octane. We're a little more in the open here, so, but I think the worst thing that it could do is overturn into the hillside and then cut roll towards the basket. So, ooh, it's a bit of a breeze. It'll be okay. We'll just bite that hyzer hard and go too far. Kind of a fun look backwards at the fairway. You gotta be kidding me. Gosh dang it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, hole 18, about 650 up the hill. You've got a golf green on the right side near the green. So when you're upshot, you need to watch out for it. Otherwise, it's kind of just get it anywhere you want up the fairway. Maybe aside from that big oak tree on the right, you just don't want to be under that. But uh, I'm gonna throw the big Z Zeus. It's not a good marker for the long, so I'm just going from this brick that's been like pulled out of the ground. Seems as good of a spot as any. And yeah, I'm gonna try and work the left side of the fairway. Maybe finish in the middle. Pretty pleased with that. So as far as the video goes, I'm in a terrible spot. You can't see it behind those two crepe myrtle looking things. But I'm about 275, still uphill. I'm gonna throw my grackle. I'm just try and hyzer over that shorter, darker bush. Stalling. It's probably deep. We'll see. So on the right side of the screen, this is that darker bush. I just walked through a big spider web. That's that darker bush I was trying to just hyzer over, which we have not been playing the cart path OB because, shoot, the cart path is the fairway on one of the holes. Oh, come on, Josh. All right, so that was Pine Valley. 18 holes out here on a Wednesday, so there were plenty of golfers out here. I don't think I saw any other disc golfers, but I only had one confusing spot where like, I finished a hole, popped out onto the next hole, and I was in the middle of a golf hole. That only happened one time, and luckily they were shooting their approach shots that landed short of me, so I was able to like, See that I, see what was happening and realized I was in the wrong, so I just popped out onto a hole that they were on, technically. Um, and so I was able to pull off to the side and let them play through. So that went smoothly. You just never know with these shared courses. But that went smoothly. Um, just enough elevation out here to make it really fun. Like uphill hole 18 didn't feel like 
evil uphill like it was just an uphill but some of those downhill long holes those are really fun a couple of the wooded holes are fun five bucks to play ten bucks for a cart which i don't know cart's always worth it in my mind um i had a great time a little bit off the beaten path but still not very far it was like 20 minutes from little rock just like up some country roads so I would definitely recommend it. I don't know what I would rate the course yet, but I would definitely recommend it. So if you're in the area and want to play with a cart, this is where it's at. Thanks for watching. We'll see you out there.